PNC Media. Please subscribe. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Hi guys, welcome back again to my channel. Guys, uh today's video Blueface Baby Mama Christian on Instagram live today guys address all issue like all matters she address everything here she talks everything on this video guys um so um some of her fans were like asking her what about her baby uh, because she stayed too long on this live guys and he her respond and how she addressed all issue on this particular video and please make sure you watch to the end and you drop your opinion what it thinks on this video please share and you like please subscribe for more videos like this and i will see you on my next video have a wonderful day thanks Usually, like, since I've been collabing with other artists, I've been going up, like, it don't even matter, like, it's whatever y'all want and I hop on it, I make sure my verse is that verse, like, I do a good job. So, we was agreeing on collabing and shit, and, um, I never really got to that collab because when me and Blue got cool, I dropped everything, like, I didn't... I didn't think twice about shit because it was like he was very vulnerable in the worst place ever. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like we stopped beefing when he went to jail. Like, when he went to jail, he got in my ass about what we be doing and going through before he went. And then we, like, came on common grounds, like, hey, this is what we want. We want the same thing, so let's work for it. I'm like, all right, fuck it. It's in the city. It's like a shitty situation. Like, you know what I'm saying? To start new while you're in jail. But fuck it, I'm down with it. But. I stopped all my collabs. Like I, I, was, I didn't put out that song with um sexy red. I didn't put out um what else? I stopped responding. Like I stopped uh like, cause we was uh we was talking about moving forward and working together and shit. But like then out of nowhere, um me and Blue get cool. So I'm just like I'm not collabing with nobody. So I'm not cool with nobody. But then you seen that diss track came out. And I was cool with Chopper, I was cool with Michael, so I don't know why they was dissing me. So they used the situation at their advantage when he ain't locked up, for real. So whatever, whatever. And they get online just trying to clear things up before a nigga come home, because... I don't know, why well, start all this fake-ass beef online while he in jail, but then had none of this energy when he was out? So that's one thing. Two, don't be trying to put me in the mix and say, oh yeah, you want the beef. No, nigga, we was talking about collabing on work. And then I cut off the situation because I didn't want to work with nobody. Like, um, the real reason why I didn't put out the Sexy Red song was because Blue was really, like, not on that, okay, so you still on that fuck my baby daddy um, era, and I'm just like, I... I don't gotta be, like, but I could put this tra track out and she's like, he just, you know, I'm just, he my baby now, so I'm like, all right, I'm not gonna do it, man. But, nigga, I've been wanting to, I wanted to put out a couple songs, I just haven't did, did those because it's just like, I know y'all all probably like, why would you do that? Do you, do y'all not know me? I got a fucking face tag. And then, I'm about the face tag and shit, um. I feel like people just mock what I do to like, also like, it's kicks and giggles, but it's like the mocking part, the annoying part. Like you had to mock me to what, did a click a like or two. And then, I don't know. I just don't fuck with the mocking shit. I mean, shit be coming off fast and aggressive. So I be like, Offended. That's why I didn't respond. I was gonna let Blueface respond because you know how he is. But don't be trying to say, "Oh, yes, you wanted to be on the uh, re boy." We was talking about collab and work, but I stopped talking to everybody for about any collab and just went into like camp mode for a nigga. I beat the fuck out of my tongue. And it hurt like a motherfucker. 
getting on my fucking nerves. But that's my side of the story. I feel like people are only doing a side of the story because they know they went too far. Like, not when somebody do something and you go far and then you try to, like, apologize for it or, like, set the record straight. Yeah, set the record straight, but set it right. Like, it'd be like people be popping shit and then when a nigga call you out to fight, it's like... I get why he was saying he backed out and why he said he didn't back out, but it was like a back out. And they're like, oh, yeah, he went to jail, but nigga, he not going to jail for years. The nigga just going to jail for a couple months. He basically saying when he get out, that's going to be the first thing he get to. Like, run me my fate. The fuck? While you got time getting yourself together, he can get yourself together. But, um, yeah, I got no rap with the, uh, and I'm only on here setting it straight for my nigga because he'll be like, you was ready. I was like, well, fuck you. you wasn't cool. I was doing a lot of shit. I was playing with a lot of people. I was. Now he need me to be there for him and just be there for him. Only oh, yeah, I'm down with it. Something I did agree with when he was like, um, 20 years from now. That's one of the problems that I probably agree with. He said, 20 years from now, I'm going to be uh, still talking to him. Mentioned. That's the type of person, like an iconic person or whatever the fuck. I agree with that part because. That's how I feel. I really do feel like that. So that's why I don't feel like I'm wasting time or missing out on opportunity. I'm just right here just camping it out for somebody that actually need me. And like, you know how like people are like, yeah, but it would be good if he was uh, putting out music and capitalizing off the situation. Um, the way I'm capitalizing off the situation is in my own way. I'm not, it's not really about things, what I can do, money, the hype, the clout. It's just being here for mentally, emotionally, and physically for one person. And y'all know who that is. My motherfucking baby daddy. Will he do the same for me? Um, I don't know. I mean, he has. I go to jail, he handle all that shit for me and all that other stuff. But um, Blue was never ready to settle down. That's why I never really tripped. Like, yeah, we got no arguments, but that's why I was doing me out with other niggas and doing me because we was just like, I bet we ain't ready. So we when we started to push that time about each other, like. So when he was locked up, I swear to God, I was in Atlanta minding my business, bro. I was in Atlanta just minding my business. Yeah, I'm going through it. Yeah, I miss Blueface. Yeah, he just got locked up. But you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. I'm still outside networking and trying to do my best next move for her. Like, fuck it. Huh? You feel me? So when he called me and shit in the way we just... um. He was basically trying to let me know, like, we're trying to let's do what we been with, like, what we keep avoiding, doing shit serious. I'm like, you sure that's what you want? Like, you know what I'm saying? He had a whole full blown relationship. He's like, okay, you was, you was doing what you was doing. I'm like, okay, but I was only doing me because of you. And he's like, there you go. Like, I don't know. We just go through the same argument, man. Because I feel like, honestly, the one that always want to go, like, take it slow or want to be the one that take everything serious, like, yeah, we should be a committed relationship. 
Gabby really coming from the bitch side of point of view. So I was like, I was one of those females, but I was also one of those females like, all right, so if that's not what you want to do, you feel me? I'm going to be like outside, you hear me? But um, that's the person I got in my heart. So it's like, all right, he won't be serious. He want, we want to give it another go. We want the same thing. Fuck it. Let's do this shit again. And you know how hard and pink I be going. <clears throat> but the only thing that's different now was back then was like, um, the speech, right? Wait till you get out. Look. You and I both is waiting. <laughs> and he's gonna stand on what he's been telling me. But I'm willing to wait to find it out. I don't really care. You feel me? I feel like love is love. Like love is worth fighting for. Cause when you got everything, you got all the money. You got look, I'm gonna be honest. So Not like that, but I pretty much got everything. Like, got my own spot, had my own car, all this. Have all like I have everything I wanted, but um, what I didn't, what I didn't have was my favorite person. So it's like, as much as he wasn't, it didn't deserve to be my favorite person. That time away, we got that time away to to respect each other more because it was like. We stopped hanging out, and then what else? I, we stopped hanging out, and then we started like doing our own thing. But what what made the icing on the cake? Um, when we started hanging out again, right before he went in, the energies was like, I don't know. It's like we really miss each other. We wish we had it 24-8 and blah, blah, blah. But I knew it was so unfortunate to feel like that because it's like, yeah, you could wish and, like, miss a nigga so bad all day long, but if y'all still on the same shit and he don't want to change nothing new, it's no point in giving up everything, you know what I'm saying, just to be left in the dark again. So, and that's what I was explaining to him. And he was feeling the same way, vice versa. So it's like, you know how every time you be like, well, you did this, you did that, he can name more than what I did too. So it's like, I guess, whatever. But long story short, it's a agree or disagree. I don't have to go get my baby. My baby is okay. I don't want him in the camera. But like, no. I feel like everybody just fucking dried up in this world. And like the people are confusing. Like, I just read a weird ass comment. The fucking hell you me. That's not him crying. That's what I'm saying. What are y'all talking about? He's not by himself. Like, that's the thing. It's none of y'all business. What room he in, who he with, and why he is loud like that. It's my motherfucking business, bitch. But I realize when you have everything and you don't got every and you don't got the person that you love. It don't matter what you got. If you don't got the person you love, that shit don't even matter. So I feel like I went long enough with other men I really fuck with. And then I was trying to like start new things and stuff, but deep down inside I was just like, when is this thing gonna put up a fight for me to not do anything? So then we started putting up a fight and I was just like, 
Yes, you can. Then when you put up a real fight, like, okay, I want this, I want that, and I'm gonna get this, I'm gonna do that, you can be this, you can be that. I'm like, okay, that shit is believable. So now I'm excited to ride for him. I shouldn't even give a fuck what we went through, what happened, what he did. I just like to be here for somebody that wants you there for them. That's it. So. Of course he did. He was going to jail. That don't mean shit though. Cause like, not like that, but he not going in the afternoon that long. Peace coming home. That shit is so cool. How oh, he coming home so quick. So for me, and if he get that much, I'm gonna keep. You feel me? But uh, I like uh, how uh, that's my nigga for real. privileges up like to a man and they're not really in a full committed relationship you get like the short end of the stick and you feel always left with this void you feel me so i was going through like this phase like okay i don't even like that stepping out shit for real unless you like i don't know like i don't even i don't even fuck with like shit like that so i was like fuck the money fuck the fame Fuck whatever we got going on. I, I'm not like I was scared to leave my situation because I was financially supported that way. I was I was in love, had a baby coming, but I just felt like I was being dumb and shit. You feel me? So when I cleaned up my act, got my own shit, and then dealt with him on my time, it was more healthy for me personally because it was like, all right. I took my uh, my dignity and my power and my privileges back. Like, I feel like when you start living with a guy, that's when you give them all those privileges and power over you. So say if y'all do do stuff y'all don't agree on, it take a piece of you only because you didn't set yourself up to be set up right. Like, I can't explain it. Like, it's like, I'm not gonna get in an argument with a motherfucker, right? <laughs> Knowing I just gave them the gun to kill me. You feel me? I'm not going to argue at all. So it's like, it's like, it's, it, it's up to you to not give that person too much ammo. So when y'all don't agree on a certain thing, somebody can't really pull out a clip and, you know, like with all that ammo on you. I don't know. I just be like, so basically, boom, we was doing that, then that single shit for a little minute. And then I was fucking with other people for a little minute. And then... Yeah, we just not fucking with it no more. So, I'm down with the process of fighting for something new. Um. Chris, y'all be careful when he gets out of jail because I feel, because I, he feel me playing you. It's the thing, nobody can play me right now, bro. You know, the ball is in my court. Like, next time anybody play me, I'm not going to be on live crying about it or... When I used to get played, I used to get played and it not be like, fuck. Now I'm so set up. I got I, I protect myself. Like if that like say if that's what he on. You feel me? I already protecting myself in my mind mentally, like, okay, I'm finna just go pack my bags and come back home. Like you feel me? It's not I'm never I'm never like aware of shit, but vice versa. Like if you feel like I'm playing him 
And he said, oh, yeah, you said you can hold the nigga down, but you're not. Da, 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 da. Like, he gonna feel the same. Vice versa. I feel like we started off a clean slate. So it's like, with me, it's as if you ain't did shit. But I, I, ain't, I ain't, it's not like I didn't for, for, forget. But I forgive you as if it's forgotten, for sure. Yeah, I moved out of this house um, when me and Blue got back together. So, I came over here because I wanted to swim, get out the house real quick. I had to make some money, do promos. And for everybody that keeps saying something about OnlyFans, I don't have an OnlyFans. So don't get scammed. Because if I ever do an OnlyFans, it'd be like how Blue did it. Put a show up on there. Hey, y'all pay me for some content I'm going to actually work for. Oh, that situation about Nat Natalie. I mean, that shit, I feel like the speak I never speak on Natalie because she always every time we um get into it, she purposely talk about shit and purposely want to beef, so like you heard that phone call, huh? He's like, it's not your shit and shit. I used to hang out with Natalie and she would make you feel like um one day she your friend, and then the next day she like this Zeus character. You feel me? So I never really got to hit it off. I never really like so. So when we um, so when we was going through our rough patches because of her, um, like say if I seen her out in public, I wouldn't speak, cause I don't speak to nobody. But. Um, Lemmy wanted me to speak to him. It was at the French Montana party. It was probably the last time I seen that. And um, my interaction with her, with her was, it wasn't that bad. It was just like a high buy situation, but no, but I didn't speak. So I guess she took that offensive and then went on a whole rant on Twitter. And I'm just like, I don't even know where that beef came from. But I'm telling you, when people mention me and want to beef me, it's like that algorithm go up. It's something to watch. It's a blog page to post about it. So y'all talking about Natalie in my in my life. I don't got nothing to say there, but God bless. You feel me? No hate, no shame, no nothing. I don't uh I don't like beefing with bitches. I, cause um for me I'm too, I don't know. I'm too comfortable in my skin. I love me. Like I don't beef with people. People beef with themselves. And then. Or say if I won't even address a shorty or a situation, it's because they're irrelevant. You feel me? So I don't really, I don't beef for nobody. But um, that shit that coming out, I think it's kind of like crazy. Like who the fuck? This is my question. I, this is my intake on the situation. First, it's kind of funny because how the fuck? Stunner had the receipts, but you know, that's Stunner girly. Fuck that, you. She gonna get something. She gonna have the proof. When she when she pops shit hard on the internet, my thing is, just be careful with the dog. She like, uh, what's her name? She got all the receipts and she she going explode in her mess. But uh, it's just funny because um, I personally work with Zeus, so I know what happened. You feel me? So everything everybody been saying. Y'all just find about old oh, shit. My intake on it is um somebody sent that to her to Stunner that don't like Natalie, that be with Natalie, that have good conversations. Because on the phone it sounded like Lemmy was talking to Natalie. And at the end Natalie laughed it off because she knows she's in trouble with Lemmy. So this is one of those conversations that Natalie would have with Lemmy 
Cause that's her boss, so she got played it like if, if she let that nigga say bitch, all type of shit to her. She went, okay, okay, and then you know what I'm saying, she good. She back in, you know, at the face of baddie, chasing her dreams. So I, I feel like He ain't seen me here. Please subscribe. Check them